what's up loves so this video is going to be another sleigh at least I hope it's going to be but I want to show you guys how I apply my wigs with a blow dryer versus using like my curling barrel sometimes it can be a little bit hot on the curling barrel and you will end up burning your scalp or just scorching yourself and that's not really that cool but I do use a blow dryer so a blow dryer is a lot quicker to me sometimes depending on what style you're going for you still probably will need to definitely use like a hot comb or a, blow, or a, cur a curling tool but to dry a bee hairspray and the mousse in place so that your wig is stuck for a, a day or two is definitely a lot easier with a blow dryer it doesn't have to be anything fancy you can go to like family dollar or walmart and get yourself like a ten dollar blow dryer as long as it can blow dry and there's like a cool and a hot setting then you good I already did a tutorial for this wig company but this is the second time I'm doing another one they have some really nice affordable units this one is their 360 lace front and this is the box that you get your wig in I'm not really for sure how to pronounce it I think it's rule you or real you or Either way, I'll put the information down below for you guys so that you can click on the link. But they're very affordable. They have some nice hair, some nice ass hair, hunties. And let me tell y'all, before we even get started, um, I did bleach the knots in this 360. So, with that being said, um, and I did pre-pluck or pre-tweeze or whatever you want to call it in the front, I did do that. And yeah, my body looks kind of a little weird. Okay, but anyways, and I did... Um, um, bleach the knots in this 360 and so far so good it held up this is I think it's a 20 inch I'll definitely post all the information below for you guys but it is a 360 and it has the combs in the front and one in the back and along with that is an adjustable strap so we're going to get right into this unit real quick so that way you guys can carry on with your days um my mouth is really dry I know I think I say that all the time like my vlogs but I have been really sick not even sick but my teeth have really been bothering me um since I got them um, I had to go get a root canal so and it's made me sick like I'm honestly sick and tired of going to the dentist but I still have to go but I just don't feel well because it has given me an infection so I've been taking medication so I'm not really feeling that great we're just gonna get into this video so let's do this okay. hey guys so let's get this going so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of the back portion of this 360 lace wig normally I'll just cut the entire lace on camera but because it is lace on the sides and in the back there was no way I was going to be able to achieve getting the back done without jabbing myself with the scissors so that was the first part that I did now just to customize it and make it fit like you know perfect or semi perfect I do just measure it and cut off the excess lace and ear so that way I don't have all of this lace lace that doesn't fit properly and I'm not able to just adhere it to my head so I always say that the best scissors to use for any lace wig cutting is some small curved scissors because using like straight big blunt scissors will just make the lace wig look a little bit more on the natural on natural side plus you may have a couple of mistakes so get yourself a small pair of scissors you can get them anywhere I've had those ones for like years like 10 years and I got them from Walmart so this unit I don't believe I don't really remember if it came with baby hairs but even so I'm just gonna make my own because you know once you wash the wig you brush it up into the wig you can't find them so I'm just gonna go ahead and take out some of the hairs on the side so that way I can just make my own baby hairs now remember I did say I pre tweezed this lace frontal and I bleached it so that way it didn't look all naughty you know the naughty look and it didn't look you know like too thick around the hairline and I will say I'm getting a little bit better at the um, pre tweezing or and the bleaching like a girl is coming through for herself so I'm just gonna use my eyebrow tweezer to shorten these baby hairs you can use whatever makes you feel comfortable a hair trimmer scissors whatever you feel comfortable with just use it and just cut the baby hairs as short as well not as short as possible don't listen to me girls because then you have some baby hairs and they will be looking like um, baby stubble so just make, make the baby hairs to your liking let's just leave it at that okay just cut them to if you like if you like them down to your eyebrows then put them to your eyebrows but just cut you some baby hairs okay and get you a good tool that you feel comfortable with I like the eyebrow trimmers I got them three in a pack from the Dollar Tree and I've been using the same one for a minute because that's all I use you already know where I got this mousse from which is also from the Dollar Tree that's right 
for a dollar it'll make you holler this is like actually some really good mousse it's called salon selectives and it's the number four hold extra firm hold i love this mousse there are other brands at the dollar tree but i would definitely not suggest getting them because they are really like horrible 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 as you guys seen the parting the, the lace does look really good and natural it's not all brassy or anything like that which is great i did use a 30 developer to bleach the knots on this and i used the um, I used the blue um oh my god I used the blue colored bleaching powder um it's salon pro or I can't remember the name of it but if I remember I'll post it down below I get it from Sally's okay and so now what I do is I did you know as you guys see my normal I'll use the mousse and I'll also use the pump it up hairspray super pump it up super hold hairspray to apply my wigs with I'm telling you guys if you do this just like this you curve the well you you know you put the mousse on first and you you know sculpt the baby hairs with the mousse and you apply the mousse on the edges and onto the lace behind the baby hairs and then you take the actual pump it up spray you know what I'm saying so like I'm doing here I'm applying the mousse and I also applied the mousse behind the baby hairs like you know what I'm saying like on the hairline part and then I also apply the actual super hold pump it up spray as well and then I take my blow dryer and I like my blow dryer because it has a nozzle but you know if you don't have a nozzle that's okay just I first start off in low heat and then I go back and forth low heat and cool I do have like I mean excuse me low heat and hot heat or cool heat and hot I do have like a little pressure button by my thumb so I'm able to keep changing the settings so I just take that and I start off on cool and I take my toothbrush and I brush it down and then I also take the nozzle as you guys see here and I am smoothing the hair down also the lace down into my head or into my hairline or whatever you want to call it that makes the lace stick that makes the mousse and the hairspray dry which is great so that is why I do like the ones with the nozzle but like I said if you don't have a nozzle that's okay just use your toothbrush or a good you know comb and you'll be good to go so this is the part where I'm going to just you know straighten it a little bit more because the wig was you know not straight I did wash it and it didn't come out bone straight so I'm just gonna get it as straight as possible and as you guys see right here this is the parting no there's no missing hairs or anything that's just the way the hair is laying right now but the scalp does look really really natural so I do use a hot comb to make the hair straighter you can use whatever you feel comfortable with but I'll use the hot comb I'm really trying to get me a different kind of hot comb because like I've been telling y'all in all my videos I am not like a super fan of this hot comb like listen it will serve the purpose it was $20 at Walmart which is cool but you know I wanted it to be a little bit thinner so I think I'm gonna just go to Sally's they have like some really good ones there not some but like one or two um, and I'm gonna check them out um, or Amazon but you know you definitely want to read the reviews if you go on Amazon for any hot combs because I've heard like things about the one that I've been using where the on and off switch is at so you know that doesn't bother me but the fact that the handle or just the actual hot comb itself is a little bit wide so you want to be extra careful when you are hot combing you don't want to scorch yourself so this is almost the finished look of the unit as you guys can see it's holding down really good like I told you guys if you use the mousse and the hairspray and then a the blow dryer your wig will be on for days like I promise you guys that you can wear this wig with this method for a few days especially if you sleep with a scarf on in the evening it will definitely hold down for a few days now don't ask me about swimming because I don't know how to swim and I don't go swimming so I wouldn't be able to tell you if it's gonna stay on in the water me personally I'm not about to dunk my entire head in the water while I got on a wig that's just not what's about to happen so I decided to put the scarf on to brush the hair up because I just get really nervous and I, the way I brush and tug on things girl I tell you I could rip out the roots of anybody's head so I just decided if you put the scarf on so that way you okay while you pull it and tug it so I took it right off and there you go this is what the finish looks like oh this is what the finish look looks like something like that you can wear it in a bun if you want you can wear it in multiple styles and ponytails and stuff like that I hope you guys like this portion it's super easy to do a ponytail you just got to get really used to it all right you guys so this video was a little bit longer than expected but i hope you guys enjoyed it i decided to do something different instead of styling it because i style like a lot of my wigs and it's really about to be hot outside so i wanted to put it in a ponytail this 360 you know so that way i can be cool and sleek 
for the summer heat it did shed okay so it did shed I'm not sure if it was because of me you know pre tweezing it or me um, bleaching it but it just shed a little bit and then it finally stopped so nothing major or anything like that I will post all the information below for Ryu or Ru you I'm not really sure you know it is April the name chopper that is what you can call me I constantly am chopping up names but yes you guys I love you um also the baby hairs are not stuck down I actually pulled them up because the only ones that are stuck down is this one and this one the other ones are loose as you guys can see because I don't really like them all matted to my head like that especially for like a ponytail it doesn't really look that great but yes girl i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and i'll see you guys in my soon to come video